The following podcast is not real, but it is really sponsored by Cards Against Humanity. They asked us not to read an ad. Enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. Hi, I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. I'm from Earth, and uh, if you haven't heard the podcast before, a little over a month ago, I fell through a magical portal behind a Burger King into this land called Foon, and luckily I'm getting a slight Wi-Fi signal from the Burger King, I guess through like a tiny crack in the rift, the dimensional rift that's still there, and so I'm hosting a weekly podcast in the Vermilion Minotaur, a tavern in the town of Hogface in the land of Foon. Uh, as always, my two co-hosts are with me, uh, Chunt and Usador. Why don't you guys uh, introduce yourselves? You just did. I did. I am oh. Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius. Master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Taragas. The elves know me as Fiang Yellock. The dwarves know me as Zonin Hoobastanges. Stop saying Hoobastank. <laughs> and I'm known in the Northeast as Gasmuenus Maystar. And there may be other names that you do not know yet. For there is great power in the words that leave my mouth. For they can form any sort of thing that I desire... By just saying a thing, I can make it sometimes, or manipulate it, or change it. I lost the I lost the train of thought on that one. So Chunt, it's I haven't seen you all week. We're not living together Chunt's anymore. Up with that. I know Chunt's up with that. I've been now that I've been staying in the Vermilion Minotaur. I miss you know. I know sometimes we go. You were about to say it. Finish that okay, sentence. Well, you miss. I was going to say sometimes I know we have a little bit of a combative relationship, but I genuinely miss you. I miss you too. I miss you, buddy. I miss you. What's going on? Chunt's up with you. Um, Is that, did I say that right? You said that right. Yes. I went on another date. Oh, but please tell me you didn't go to make up. We point. didn't go to make up point. I'm trying to give that a little break. Um, I was um, trying to pick up a monster, a Gila monster. A Gila monster? A beaded lizard. Uh-huh. Um, we her- have those in my world. Oh, okay. Uh, well, this isn't about you right now. Uh, her and some of her friends were around a carcass, and they were sort of picking at it, trying to eat that. And I, I came up and was like, hello, I'm Chunt, Enchante. Uh, which is in Foon, that means enchanted. Really? In what and language is that? In Foonese. Um, and so I was trying to hit on this Gila monster and try and get, you know, something going. And some of her friends were just like, get out of it, like, get out of here. You know how there's yeah. like always two bigger friends who are like, oh, get out of here. Yeah. So I struck up. Oh, so it, it just did not get very far. Obviously, I'm still a badger, so it did not get very far at all. Well, just because you haven't engaged in a. The act of coitus does not mean you have not begun a relationship. If a relationship is just sex to you, then perhaps maybe that's part of the problem. It could be. You gotta learn to love yourself. You I couldn't tell if he was making kissy noises or blading his pipe. No, he, it's just lighting my pipe. pipe. You Turn actually, around and look at me. You said, I actually have a question about your pipe. Yes. You, you smoke this. What is it that you're smoking, first of all? Pipe weed. Pipe, <laughs> pipe weed. Yes, of course. Now, I've noticed that the smoke usually takes the, like a sort of an evocative form, like an eagle or a dragon. Oh, is yes. That, is that something that the pipe weed does, or are you doing that? Well, of course, it's me. I'm a, a wizard. If I'm thinking about, you know, a, a Gila monster, there you go. Aw. That's, that's what you good. look like. Yeah, that's that what is what pretty good. For. She's I'm, wearing lipstick, though. I have to admit, I'm kind of impressed. So if I took up pipe weed... Smoking, yes. Would I? Th- I would not be able to do that. No, uh, you might be able to make a ring. Some people can make rings, mm-hmm. which is impressive, but uh, not for a wizard. Yeah. Uh, per se. Uh, do you have uh, pipe weed in your world? I mean, we have different smokables. Some things are legal to smoke in our world. Some things are illegal to smoke in our I world see. for your own good. And I suppose the Burger King has put down this dictate, this law. Saying, do not smoke, for I am the king of burgers, and I shall have my worry! I'm just going to say yes. I'm just going to say yes. Well, you know what? I feel we should get to our guests. Another week in a row, we have actual magical, or I guess magical. Uh, you, how, every week, every single week, we just spoke about the magical musings of my pipe weed, and you, then you insult me by saying that you've brought on someone magical. 
You have a shapeshifter and a wizard every week. Every single week. See us for who we are, man. You're right. I'm sorry. Anyway, I would love to get to know our two guests, Inta and Nerf, who are goblins, actual goblins. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are goblins by birth. Yeah, I'm so excited. Now, I know, I guess until recently, goblins weren't allowed in the Vermilion Minotaur. Only recently, the enchantment that keeps you out has been lifted on Sundays. Exactly, which is great because Sunday's our day off. It's our day off. That's so. great. This is nice. I don't now. I guess I generally know what a goblin is. You know, you're sort of uh, squat green creatures. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't. I sometimes, and I, I'm so sorry. This is going to sound uh, really uneducated. I don't know what the difference between a goblin and an orc is. Oh, wow. or a troll. Well, there's there's differences. There's, there's, there, yes, there's differences, and and we can't intermarry if that's your, the next oh, question yeah, coming see, out yeah. of your mouth. No, no, ah, we can't do that either. Okay, I see. Now, and you two, but you two are married. We yes. are married. That's so exciting. I feel like I, I feel like I haven't really met any married people with living spouses here in Foon yet. Well, we just got married, and so you don't know what could happen in the next couple of minutes or oh god, oh no, the next week. Life is a little brutal here in Foon. It seems like people can die very quickly. Very quickly. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. It's that's a very difficult true. life for sure. I believe Larry Bourbon was married many times. Oh, yeah. Married many times, but what does, are they still around? Oh, wives? no. He murdered them all. <laughs> no. Yes. Please, in the future, let me know in advance if I'm booking a guest that is. A known, a known murderer. murderer. A known multiple murderer. I, I don't understand the, the workings of this show that you put on, so I didn't know that we weren't supposed to have murderers. Okay, that, that's good to know. So, Inta and Nerf, let me tell me, what's your, what's your life like? What is a goblin's life like? We have 17 beautiful kids. Whoa. Yeah. 17, is that a lot or normal for a goblin? That's about normal. That's about normal. That was yes. just one litter, right? Yeah, that was just one right. litter, so yes. it is normal. Goblins yes. are uh, uh, an amorous mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. Okay. You guys don't touch each other so much. Come on. Right now. And did the whole That's litter right. make it? Was, it? was it 17 originally? Uh, Originally, I had 18 and a half. 18. Oh. oh. Yes, I lost one and a half. Well, that's, that's, that's still a pretty that's good It's not surprising the half one. No, that's yes. true. No. No, yeah. oh, the, they were connected. It was it was oh. one and a half oh. goblin oh. goblin child, and the gestation period is very long. It's a month for each. Yes. So I was. So, with some basic math, we could figure out how long it was. But eighteen and a half months of a 18, pregnancy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some really real basic, basic math. <laughs> really basic. Very basic. Math. It's Seems really like more counting than math. <laughs> it's it's true. That's to be perfectly fair, fair. fair. That's true. So what is, what is a goblin wedding like? Oh, it's a huge celebration. It's a big, it's a big hoodoo. Uh, there's a lot of food. There's a lot of... A lot of dancing, dancing, a lot of music, a lot of fights, a lot of blood. Oh. Some murder. Some murders. Oh. Some goblins come back to life. Yes. Oh, wow. That's good. Yes, we do have that. We do possess that ability. Is it hard to, like, cater a goblin wedding because you don't know between the deaths and the coming back to life how many people are going to eat? Times two, always times two. Always times yeah. two. Goblins are also very rude and often RSVP and then don't show up. Oh. Or they just show up. But hopefully in the end it all evens out. Well, and many we run a few on... few human guests and probably a few shape changes, a few elves, something, you know. It all the, works the, itself the, out. Yes. The shapeshifters are the hardest one to deal with because they can start the evening one way, mm-hmm. uh, meet yeah. someone, and then... Yes. By the end of the night, there's something different. Uh, uh, have you ever done that? Have you ever uh, gone to an event as like a horse and then ended the event as a, oh, I don't know, a gopher or something? One time I went to a wedding as a scorpion. Oh. I slept exciting. with a vampire. Sure. But on my way home, I ran into another scorpion and couldn't resist it. Uh, really? So within about a three-hour span, I was a scorpion, vampire, back to scorpion. But I thought it took like a fortnight for you to change forms. There's exceptions. Uh, well, I don't want to talk about va- that. Vampires, vampires. Uh, there's all sorts of crazy oh, around vampires. Oh, classic vampire exception. Well, yes. Yeah, of course. No, that totally makes sense. Do you sense. not believe me? Because yeah. the way... I don't... I mean... As long as I've known you, you've been a badger. I'm not just a talking badger, okay? I am a shapeshifter. Okay, I know. I believe you. And you know what? I gotta be honest. Like, I, 
I know it's important for you. You want to find somebody and move on and change forms. But I'm kind of not looking forward to you not being a badger. You, I mean, this is the face, the badgery face that I know. Well, you don't know shapeshifters uh, as all of us do. Uh, they do always retain some element of their face. They're always recognizable. So you'll still know it's Chunt, even when he turns into uh, a cow or... Uh, or a goblin. Or a goblin. Oh. Mm, no. it, uh, are you into that sort of thing? Well, I think I know your sisters. Are Inta is your sister yes. Ina and Anta Aria? Yes, Ina and Anta Aria. Two sisters, yeah. Oh, you're beautiful. You're just as beautiful oh, as your. Oh, thank you. My sisters have larger horns. I've always been. I've always <laughs> not, felt I'm, a little. I've never insecure. noticed. Yeah, I've I'm never not noticed. a huge horn guy. I'm, I'm more of a butt guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> this oh. is a little. I mean, really, the size of the horn is less important than sensitivity. How sensitive the horn is? Yes. Some creatures will enhance their horns. Yes. And you, oh, and you yeah. think you're getting a you know a big set of horns. And, then and how's, how's that done, just out of curiosity? Uh, I, don't, I don't want to go into detail. I, take right. some clay. Clay. Mold it around the horn. Just attempt to dry it out so it looks natural. Okay, it looks like the key is to dry it out, honey. You gotta... So how did you guys meet? Uh, well, there, there are several ways you, you can... Uh, Start relationships in the goblin community. Uh, one is you can visualize your ideal partner, oh, and yeah. that partner will sprout out of your own body. Oh wow, <laughs> yeah. that's convenient. Yeah. It's very convenient. The only danger with that is if you don't know yourself too well, you could sprout someone who's not very good for you. Yeah. Did one of your kids attempt to visualize? Was that the one and a half? Uh, no, that was just a horrible birth defect. Thanks oh, for bringing it up. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's uh, so six day on the. <laughs> we named him Stillborn Child. We named him as well. So, did you one of you visualize the other, or is there? Or? I, uh, I I visualized many partners that were that were not not right for me. I didn't know myself yet. So but what happens? So if you visualize a partner and they come out of you and they're not good, you kill them. Oh. You kill them. Yes. yes, it's best to end it immediately. Immediately, yeah. you don't want to get your heart broken. That's true. I guess yeah. if you don't kill them, then you know you're always sort of like going back. To the relationship and drags. And on. that is one major difference between goblins and orcs. The orcs cannot visualize their own mates. They they mate in a much more traditional way that you would understand as a human. Uh, but uh, another thing that differentiates them is that they are the servants of evil. Orcs are the most terrible and ugly, disgusting creatures that have been wrought upon this foon. So orcs are evil, yes. but goblins are... Well, goblins can be evil, just like elves can be evil, humans can be evil, anyone can be evil. Orcs can be evil, too, but I've known a pretty bunch of solid orcs. Uh, I don't think so. Probably not. I mean, Usador is kind of... He's a wizard. He's kind of old. You know, maybe it's a generational thing where he just can't accept that, the, that orcs aren't evil. Is that what we're dealing with? Well, orcs aren't evil. They're made... And then enhanced by the Dark Lord to carry out his evil deeds. That's what they do. See, I'm not, I'm new to this world, so I have no idea whether the things Usador says are literally true or just crazy old man racist right now. How dare you? About. There's a little bit of both there. I mean, yeah, there are orcs that are bad orcs. Sure. But you can't judge all orcdom on just one bad orc. Uh, well. <laughs> all right, Grandpa. You know what? Let's take a let's take a quick break and let's refresh our drinks. Uh, and while we do that, uh, I'm sure I hope we have sponsors on Earth side for this podcast. But I don't really know anything about that because I can't really I have a hard time accessing the internet from here. But we do have a sponsor on the food side of this podcast, and so let's hear uh, a little bit from Otak Barleyfoot, the owner and proprietor of the Vermilion Minotaur. And we'll be back in just a minute. Come to the Vermilion Minotaur. Um, Flea's Day night, uh, open mic night. Thorin's Day uh, is chunt night. Who's he talking to, Arnie? And we've got Rooster Feed on special and um, barley wine uh, by the goblet full. Vermilion Minotaur, home of um, Arnie's podcast. That should get some people in. Has anyone seen Activia? My daughter is missing. And we're back. Thank you so much, Otaka Barleyfoot. We haven't really talked about this yet. Uh, 
Inta and Nerf, you haven't really been allowed in the Vermilion Minotaur until very recently. Yeah, I, I think yes. we're the first goblins to be allowed in. Well, uh, there is an old rift between elves and goblins, and Otok being half-elf yeah, has some prejudice, unlike myself. Do you guys find that you are frequently not allowed in places, or is it just like an elvish? Oh, all the time. It's a standard thing throughout Foon. Yeah. Yes, there's there's a underground goblin economy, mm-hmm. underground wow. uh, goblin uh, entertainment well, business. Well, don't you guys live underground? Well, yes, yeah, but, yes. But, but it's further but, underground. Further underground. We just have to make our own society in order to thrive because we're cast out of right. yeah. major oh, societies. We're, we're not attractive. We're very amorous, especially in public. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please, guys, stop that, talking. That is. Stop. I'm yes. sorry. That is un. It seems enjoyable. like, first of all, I don't. I've noticed Nerf that you found some clay during the break. I really did. This is very fresh. S- trying to sculpt your wife's horns. Yes. Making yes. them bigger. Well, I found some. It's really difficult good, because my horns. <laughs> They're still lactating because I'm still oh, yeah. nursing oh, by 17. Yes, that makes sense. I get it. Yeah, it's yeah, not clay drying all Would the anyone way. be interested in some goblin milk? Uh, is that a thing? Uh, should uh, I be? Should, I mean, can I, may I take some for a potion I'm working on? Please. Thank you. I should probably say no. I, I'm trying to be open to my experience here. And <laughs> Easy on that, please. Don't damage the merchandise. Jeez. That Thank looks you. Like that should hurt. be plenty. That looks like it hurt. No, no. That's no, 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 a natural not. milking process. Yes. If you'd ever like more, please, I have You ever heard the expression, stash. punch the horn? <laughs> no, I haven't. Thank it's you, very Inta. Popular Thank you. Food. Excuse me, I gotta go punch the horn. You ever heard that? No. <laughs> well, I guess I... <laughs> this I, I guy doesn't. <laughs> so the, uh, you guys have an underground uh, entertainment industry, you entertainment said? Entertainment industry, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Before the children and, and just not having a lot of time, Nerf uh, was a very well-known dancer. <laughs> oh, oh really? yes, really. Oh, enough of that. And that is if we much. sang, like, if we had some music, would you would you dance? Maybe we could sing what? Seven Dragons <laughs> and a Baby. <laughs> I did. Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Let me uh, move this table. Oh boy. These chairs. And uh, let's see, move, babe, get out of the way. I need to. Thank you. Seven dragons there were, and oh, there was a baby. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> oh, this is really nimble for a goblin. Mm-hmm. It really moves. The spindly little legs on that. Whoa. Oh, I thought he was wow. going to hurt himself for a moment. <laughs> it's both beautiful and painful looking yes. at the same well, time. I didn't, I didn't warm up. Yeah. And I'm hoping to one day be able to dance here, but I understand that there's rules. Oh, you should do it on Chunt's Night. Chunt's Night? I still don't understand what happens on Chunt's Night. Well, you'd have to come. If you want to... Can you I, lift the spell on a Tuesday to have? Certainly, of course. I'd love well, to have you for Chunt's it. Night. It's just like a variety show. Oh. But there's more to it than that. <laughs> so if you... Wink. If, I don't. I think I'm not going to show up. I said before I'm not coming to Well, you Chunt's live night. here now. I, well, you're That's really true. I'm going to have to make a point You'll of hear it. leaving. Yeah, I think I will. The sounds you hear will entice you downstairs. Yeah, we'll we'll see about that. So you you so you used to be a dancer. So what do you guys what do you guys do now? Well, we both work in the mine, uh-huh. in yes. the goblin mine, what? mining coal and mining you know, a variety of minerals, diamonds, uh, quartz, quartz. Wow, so pretty important like work for the land of Foon, like getting these resources. Yet we are only allowed in here on Wednesdays. It's on Sundays. Sundays. Pardon. Wednesdays is the other tavern. The other tavern. What is the other tavern in town? Should I check out the other taverns oh, in town? Oh, the Smoldering Widow? The Smoldering Widow? Uh, yes. It's a much uh, less, uh, how do you say? Reputable? Yeah, much less reputable. Exactly. It hey, sounds exactly. less reputable. Yes, exactly. Uh, all sorts of dark dealings go on in the Smoldering uh, Widow. The buffet is pretty good, yes, though. Yes, all the buffets. Uh, yes, absolutely. they do have good food. I'm not going to lie about it's that. It's a 4 a.m. pub, so it gets a little sloppy. Yeah, it gets uh, yeah. messy in there. I, mean, I feel like this is my place. This is where I go to hang my hat. Everyone here knows my name. That's true. When you walk in, people yell, Usador! Usador! And then I yell it. And yeah. Die, and then I... Oh, and then you go through your full name. Well, yes, they just say Usador as if that's the, the only part of my name. When I come in, they should say, Usador, oh. wizard of the 12th realm of Ephesia. Master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical lights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Tarakas. The elves know me as Fiang Yalak. The dwarves know me as Zonin Hootstangis. Then then I'm known in the northeast as Gasmuenus Mesa. And then there are even secret other names you may not know yet, for I am full of power. Great power that cannot be 
I feel like if there were secret other names, he would not hesitate to say it. I think he's... Perhaps his names are so powerful that I cannot speak them aloud. Arnie, are you, are you married? I am. You I am are. married. I have a wife and a child. I just recently had one my child? first child. One just child? One. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I know. No, no, no. That's a good thing, actually. Yeah. In my world, it's very common to just have one child at a time. And if you have more than one at a time, it's actually scary. Oh, uh, yeah, it's intimidating to have more than one at a time. So one child, and she's she's healthy and beautiful. And I'm really sad that I haven't seen her in over a month, basically. But yeah, my wife and my child are in Earth, and hopefully before too long I'll be able to... Did you visualize your wife and, and grow her out of your body? Her horns, what What about her horns? Uh, you know what? Uh, human women don't have horns. <laughs> I know, I know, but you know what? Dark Lord shall be no more! You spilled my drink. I'm sorry about that. Let me get you another thing. So, now that you are, rel- now that you have these 17 kids and you're newly mm-hmm. married, like, how, what's ahead for you guys? Oh, boy. Wow. Well, grow our family, obviously. Right, yeah. You know, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get back to dancing one day. Oh, I think you could. I don't know. I think you could. Out of sight, out of mind. You're still young. You're only <sighs> 75. Did you guys have a honeymoon? Oh, yes, we did. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. where did you go? Uh, uh, well, we, we went to the lake. Yes, we just went to the lake. Oh, the lake. I in the cabin. You. Is there only one lake in Foon? Mm-hmm. Yes, it's the la- it's called the lake. <laughs> it's just called the lake. Yeah, Everything is- normally has such florid names. I'm surprised that it's just called. I um, guess if there's only well, one. I'm sorry, our geography disappoints you. Yeah, the, uh, how this- many lakes do you have? Two. We've got h- hundreds, Name thousands them. of lakes. Thousands of lakes. Lake Erie, Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, Lake. Uh, These sound like made up names to me. Arnie, name a hundred more and take one second per lake. And with a little bit of math, we can figure out how many seconds that'll take. Uh, the Great Salt Lake. Seconds. Yeah, hundred seconds. All right. I, I've literally, it's I've really exhausted. Counting. What are some of the things that you guys did at the lake on your honeymoon? We played with horns. Played with horns. Oh, yeah. well, Made love honeymoon. many, Made many, love many times. Many times. Oh, wow. uh, did a little bit of light reading. Mm-hmm. What did you read? I'm currently working my way through the Elven Dictionary. Wow, so yes. just learning Elvish words. Do you mm-hmm. want to learn to speak Elvish? I believe so. I'd like to be an interpreter eventually. Uh, wow. That's yes. good work. Bridging that divide between yes. elves that's and really goblins. Yeah. Wow, that's really very like inspiring, actually. Oh, thank you. Is there anything that I can do to help goblin-elf relations? Probably not. <laughs> that's fair. We have college students come all the time to Foon and think yes. they could just mend something over a long weekend. But no, sure, they can. yeah. I mean, I yeah. <laughs> I think you've got my number, hundred <laughs> percent. Stop staring at her horn. Oh, I'm. It's just there's all like is clay. There's clay and milk. It's not drying because of the milk, but this is really this would be ideal for me. Okay, stop. You're like practically all right. Get just off. relax. Just, if it bothers you, just look away. I kind of. I'm starting to feel like the reason the goblins aren't allowed in here has nothing to do with you elves singing you're evil. Like you, it's very kind of a. It's a very public display of <clears throat> like more than just affection. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that's, yes. I, oh, no. No, we don't need to see this all is, this. <laughs> I'm all right, seeing, can we go? Uh, so I'm seeing. Uh, uh, I know more than PDA. It's uh, literally like there's penetration going on. Uh, over here. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Well, I'm just going to watch. I decided. <laughs> okay. I'm done. That's not as bad as I thought. It didn't last that long. That's a good. That's a. That's a uh, plus. Whew. So thank you so much, Inta and Nerf, for being on uh, on the podcast. Oh, it's been you. a real pleasure, for the most part, to learn about your culture. Uh, thank you. Thank you for allowing us in here one day out of the week. You know, that's. I'll talk to Otak about that. That's Can really. You please? That's really his. But, you know, I, have, I feel like I'm building a relationship with him and the Vermilion Minotaur, and it's, this place is becoming a showcase for this podcast, so I think I We might- have a name for that sort of thing in this world, Arnie. It's called Synergy. Synergy? <laughs> yes, really? Yes. When, when certain elements all come together and work together in such a way, it is Synergy. Wow, we have that word in my, in my world Oh, as you well. do? Yes, yeah, okay, that's right. fantastic. Arnie, if you miss the loving embrace of your one child, you're more than welcome to go underground and let my 17 feast off of your horn. Oh, Anytime that, you would like. I don't have a horn. I don't want to. You don't have a horn. Oh, my God. This we, guy I, I, doesn't I have a horn. Uh, I would like to meet your children in a safe space at some point with you guys around. The way you suggest said that, I just feel like they would not find my horn and they would just kill me. It would just tear me apart. 
Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds oh, about good. Right. I was worried for a second as it came out of my mouth. I'm like, this sounds like an awful thing to say about someone's children. And I'm glad that you're cool with it. No, yes, I think you're a disgusting racist. I <laughs> know you're. I think I think you are the racist one. And in fact, uh, that's a good segue into saying that, uh, as always, I want to encourage people to email us here at uh, Magic Tavern at. Was that a good segue? That was a good segue. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> I want to encourage people to email us at magic tavern at puppies.supplies. It's the only email address I was able to get. It is real, I promise you. And email us and let us know whether you think I'm more racist or Usador is more racist. Can I interrupt real quick? Uh, just like I mentioned last episode, if anybody has any emails for me, because I, I did have access to Arnie's uh, laptop, um, you can email me at chunt at gmail.com. That is chunt with six T's. Chunt with six T's. Email me. Pictures, um, thoughts, and uh, I'll check it on Arnie's computer. I don't know how you got a Gmail address. You're going to have to show me how you did that so I can get an email that I feel like anyone will respond to. But anyway, we did get a couple emails from listeners, which is very exciting. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Here's one from Alex Eilhauer, who wrote, Wizards in magical lands often seem to have multiple names. How does that happen? Like you're walking along and you meet a dwarf and he asks his n- your name, and instead of saying Usador, you just make up a totally different name? Why do that? That's right. It can't be to hide your identity because you're telling us all your names on this podcast. Thanks, Alex Alhauer, or as I am known in the Northeast, Alex Alhauer. Well, he said it. He's, he's hit it spot on. Uh, when you meet a dwarf for the first time, you have to come up with your dwarvish name, mm-hmm. your elvish name. Uh, for they, they do have different languages, and it just flows better in their language. For if an elf is speaking and uh, says, Chingar, you believe Chage, to be Usador, it sounds very bizarre. So now, I understand most of that. You, yeah, you've been studying Elvish. What did he just say in Elvish? He said, How are you doing today, my fine man? Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Say something, say, like, attest her knowledge of Elvish. Say, like, something that you wouldn't expect. A uh, wizard to say. Oh, something you wouldn't expect a wizard to say. Uh, how about uh, uh, she loud, keep the hail, she keep the eyes, she sling, she chong, she chong. Shankai, shan tong for shibidlu, kapink and slip, and pdibidlu. Ah, finish lay. Finish lu. I changed my mind. I don't want to know what you're saying. <laughs> All right, well, that's fine. And half, and, of it, they, half of it was very racist to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, of course. About orcs, I'm imagining. Uh, 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 and to be fair, so that's why the name Fiang Yalik does flow more easily off the tongue in Elvish. I see. We have another email from Rudra Banerjee. Ooh, any relation to Synergy? <laughs> yes, I think so. Uh, he writes, my three-year-old Alice was listening and was curious if Usador has any kids. This is a very child-centric episode. Has any kids. Also, she said, Chunt sounds nice and not a monster like that other guy. <laughs> it's unclear if she means you or not. There's a lot to unpack in this email. Yes, let's go through that again. <laughs> so, Rudra says, my three-year-old, Alice, was listening and was curious if Usador has any kids. Usador, do you have any kids? I do not have any children, no. Okay. Uh, Except for all the children of food. For every man, woman, and child is under my care, and it is my duty to protect them all from the evil thoughts and machinations of the Dark Lord. Thank you. Can I address uh, all the kids that might be listening? Sure. I hope there are none. I hope, Alice, I hope you're not listening. <laughs> hey, right kids, now. Uh, Chunt here. Whenever you go to school or any sort of social setting, oh, no. if you can, if you're a big fan of Chunt, just scream Chunt oh, on the top of your lungs. No. Look an adult in the eye and say, hey, Chunt, or possibly Chunt's up with that. I guarantee you they'll put a smile on their face. Oh, no. Please. If there are any, please, no children, listen to this podcast. I feel like learning about Foon is, is, is not for the weak of heart. It's for adults. It's also very flattering to call someone a chunt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. That's good. Yes. Tip your head and say chunt. Okay. And then he seems to suggest that I might be a monster. All right. So uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Inta and Nerf, for, for being here. And thank hopefully you. I'll see, uh, since I live here now, I'll see you on Sundays when you when you come in. To the and perhaps Wednesdays yes. now. And then oh, Wednesdays Wednesdays now. Yeah. And oh. if you ever find yourself in the underground, uh, please look us up. Yeah, I absolutely will. I definitely want to see more dancing. Oh, yeah. Watch this. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, look at him go. Yes. Watch out. Now back up. Back up. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Yes. Hey, ah. oh. Thank you. Thank One. you. Oh, he's done. His, his wife is putting a cape over him. Oh, wait. Wait. He's not. 
Oh, no, he's, he's not, not done. He's not he's done. Not done. Whoa. Ah. Oh. It seemed like he was so tired it before. Like he was done. Days. He was worn out. <laughs> uh, yeah. And that's it. <laughs> we will now make love. Can you believe none of that really happened? Well, it didn't. So discontinue your letters and emails. How would I even receive them in this bunker in space trapped outside of the flow of normal dimensional time? Or rather, my house on Earth, the only real place you need concern yourself with. Anyway, here are the human actor names which provide us with a sense of comfort and familiarity. Usador the Wizard was portrayed by perfectly ordinary human being Matt Young. Chunt the Talking Badger, as if such a thing could exist, was played by Adol Rafai. Inta and Nerf the Goblins were played by special guests Marla Caceres and Eddie Pina. Get a load of this. Arnie, Matt, Adel, Marla, and Eddie all perform together regularly in the I.O. Chicago improv show, World News Tonight. Imagine being involved in a show with all those people where you were the only one who didn't also get to perform in their wondrous news mockery program. How alone and angry would you feel? Oh yes, and Otak Barleyfoot was played by Nick Bear. Maybe Nick and I will get a drink later. Produced by Evan Jakova and Ryan DeGiorgi. Edited by Ryan DeGiorgi. Music by Andy Poland. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Learn more about the show and how it's not real at hellofromthemagictavern.com or follow us on Twitter at Magic Tavern. Do you like Facebook? No one does. But Hello From The Magic Tavern has a Facebook page with lots of evidence to prove that this show is not real. All of these fictionalized pretendings were brought to you by Cards Against Humanity with the help of the Chicago Podcast Cooperative. Learn more about Cards Against Humanity at cardsagainsthumanity.com and the Chicago Podcast Cooperative at chicagopodcastcoop.com. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spin-offs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.